Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be fishing with the HTO Album Finesse and a Shimano Sienna. This is pretty much the lowest budget like sort of setup you can get for LRF. The reel you can pick up for 20 to 25 quid, the rod you can pick up for anything between 30 and 45 pounds. So, and then put the braid on, say 10 pounds, this is a Shimano braid, so it'd be 9.99. The whole setup for less than 75 quid, really, really good value. I'm fishing a drop shot rig today, but I'm using split shots to keep the money down again. I'm using gulp sandworm instead of isome, uh, mainly because it stays on the hook better, so this is really budget fishing. I'm um, going to see how many fish I can catch. I don't know if you saw my challenge video the other day. I'm going to do the same challenge again. I'm going to start the GoPro 30 minutes on the clock and see what we can catch in 30 minutes using the lowest budget tackle we possibly can find. All right, and we're off fishing. So I've picked a mark where I actually fished on Sunday and we caught a bunch of different species between a few of us. So hopefully it's going to produce. And the idea is to see how many different species we can get, how many fish we can catch in the time. 30 minutes and again, I should have been ready to go, but here we go. First drop, I'm going to a little flick out, I'm going to let it hit the bottom, and then just wait. Adjust the camera slightly, I'm getting nibbles already, and we've got fish on. Oh, we've got a good fish on. We've got a very good fish. That was not expected. Not a bad start, we've got a nice sized barn rass there. I'm going to bring it into the net. Lovely jubbly. That is not a bad start at all. Let's get it unhooked. Right, it's deep hooked. I'm just gonna get some tools out. First of all, let's have a little look at the fish. We've got a bar and wrasse, lovely, nice colours. The hook's just inside the lip there, I can see it sticking out. I'm trying to get my forceps. So hopefully we won't need a disgorger for this. Just gonna open the mouth up gently, get the hook and twist it out. Weedless hook, nice and easy. Out. Just been spiked. I'm gonna very carefully get this rasp back. Beauty. First fish done. That didn't take long at all, did it? All right. I do need to rebait up because it took the lure. So the whole thing about the ice made versus gulp could have gone out the window there because I lost the lure on the first fish. What can we go for? Stick with the trend, some more gold, I think. We'll leave the tub out. I think I'm going to think something tells me I'm going to need that. I'm going to put the net there, ready to go. So I am using weedless hooks. Sorry, weedless, barbless hooks to make out unhooking easier. And I'm hoping also to show some sort of little bits about um, how to handle the fish and stuff like that. I'd like to get one where I can use a disgorger. Obviously we don't want a deep hook fish, but if we do, then I'll be trying to demonstrate how to use a disgorger because it's what one of the uh, people that follow the channel have asked for. Right, we've got, I think they call that color camo. I'm not great with colors as people will know, but there we go. Bit of camo sand worm. Let's go for the next fish. And um, we're back in. No, nope, we're tangled. Still tangled, Jesus Christ. And we're fishing again. We got bites again. Fish on again. And this time it's a pollock. And just as we wanted, got one that needs a disgorger. Well, I'm gonna try and keep this as quick as I can. What I tend to do is I wrap the line around the disgorger and then push down the line into the mouth of the fish until I get to the hook. This might not work with the snooder drop shot very well because it's got two lines. Where we got it? I don't know if you can see in there or not, but I'm going to push down onto the hook. It is we barbless, so it should come out quite well. I've lost the line. This is not a good demonstration. We basically get the hook, twist, there you go, come out. Pollock's back in the water, hoping it's going to swim away. Right, two drops, two fish. 
he is down there. Yeah, he's swimming away now. And we're all tangled on the end of the rod again. One thing I will say with these cheaper rods, some of them, they do have a tendency for the line to wrap around the end eyes. Could just be my uh, poor handling. And also using very light weights, the line can get flicked up and wrapped around quite easily. Right, we're down again, let it hit, hit the bottom. I think we're in, there we go. Right, we're on the bottom, bites. We still got a lure? Yeah, we still got a lure. Let's go out a bit further. Could do with a bit more weight on really, but. There is a nice little hole over here. I just can't remember exactly where it was. I stood down on this step the other day. I think it's sort of out here. I tried moving around quite a lot. All right, let's go. Just up there, let it hit the bottom. No, why aren't we getting any bites? First two drops, two fish, and then we've had nothing since. A bit strange. I'll keep moving until I find a fish. I think there's a lot of tie boot. I'm gonna stick a bit more weight on. So the good thing with using split shots is you literally just add another split shot at a time. And they're very, very cheap. I've been getting my split shots from eBay. Um, if you need some links, give me a shout. Um, you can get sort of bulk buy them in little packets or you can get the little boxes we've got to the different sizes. It's definitely a, like a real lot cheaper than buying drop shot weights. So there you go, free split shot on there now. I'm sure the line will be tangled around the end of the rod. Check that before I go. No, it's fine. That's better, I can feel the bottom a little bit better now. All right, let's try back over here again. I'll give it another minute or two and then I will try and change the lure. There's a few pollock swimming around by my feet. I could try and go for one of those. I'm literally fishing right underneath myself now. There's two little pollock. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a couple of big ones there as well. A little bit of interest in the lure. Not happening. Right, let's change the look. I'm going to go for now. This isn't the cheapest, but it's a piece of Eco Gear Aqua. Um, it's the Shirazu, but the bull tail's already been bitten off by something. Presentation. All right, let's try again. All tangled up as always. And of course, we're running out of place to stand because the water's coming out. I'm going to make a call and move, I think. One more flick over here. Don't know if you could hear that, but that's some uh, thunder. <laughs> And we've had a thunderstorm last night and we are due another one today, so uh, I don't really want to be out of a carbon pole if the lightning comes in a minute, but I also don't have a coat on or a jumper, so I'm going to be stuck out here in the rain. So I'll be running back to the car. Yeah, it's starting to rain now. Lovely jubbly. In a way, I'm kind of glad to be going the right direction for the car. <laughs> Let's have a little quick go here. Nice and easy access. All right, let's just have a dip in a couple of these little holes. All tangled around the end of the rod again. Surprise, surprise, there we go. I think I had a little tap. Might just be the waves moving it around. Yep, let's try a different hole. I'll get further down to the water if I can. Let's try this little ledge down here. Oh, I'm struggling to find a fish. I 
And can the fish sense the storm? What's going on here? Can't tell if it's on. I think, oh, we've got fish on. No, we haven't. Oh, we are, I can't tell. If we have, it's very small. No, it was just biting. Nightmare. Right, let's get straight back out just in front. There we go. Got one on the bottom. Get the slack in. Come on. Bite's there. Come on, take the lure. Wonder how we're doing for time. Six minutes left. Come on, one more fish. Started so well. I don't even know how much you guys can see. This uh, gets starting to get dark. I know these GoPros aren't great in dark conditions. Good news is I'm picking up bites. So I'm going to proper go for it. There's bites are doing my head in. Should have worn some cream or something. A few minutes left and then I'm just going to have to tell you what I think about the rod and reel. Pack up and go home. Ideally we want one more fish before then really. I'll check the lure quickly and then get it back out there. Just make sure that it's showing for the fish. And then there's a tiny bit of hook showing, that's not really enough of it. One fish, we've got like two or three minutes I think. Got no weight. Have we got time for one last drop? Right, single split shot. The low light's not helping me get it on the line. Right, we're on. Back out there. It's not going to sink as fast as the three we had before. Not going to sink at all from a little bit. How are we doing for time? 1 minute 28 seconds. Soul destroying. There's nothing happening. We're out of time. Come on. It's not going to happen, folks. That's it. Time's up. Alright guys, so that's the end of the session. A little bit disappointing after catching so many fish last time, but we did get two fish on the first two drops and then nothing for the rest of the half an hour. Did get quite a few bites, I was wondering whether there might be a little pout or something just nibbling at the tail of that um, Shirazu I had on then. That's that's fishing, like half an hour, some catching two fish in half an hour, you can't really complain. A uh, little bit about the rod, because I told you a little bit about before, so I'll do some um, close-up footage of it in a second so you can sort of have a closer look at it. Um, you can buy this in a bunch of places, they do sell them on Amazon, but you're better off going somewhere like Prime Angling or one of the sort of other like um, online places, support some people other than Amazon. Um, the real, um, to be honest, I'm really, really impressed with it considering um, I had it set up wrong to start with and the drag was like taken off, but the drag was nice and smooth. Um, yeah, nice little reel, can't believe it, it was like 20, 25 quid, 500 size, you could probably get yourself a thousand size for these sort of rods, 500 is a little dinky, a little tiny little thing, but um, yeah, so budget fishing rod, you don't need anything more than this really for LRF fishing, I'll be honest, um, if you're going out targeting big scad and bass and stuff like that on the lures and that, you might want a better drag system or a slightly nicer rod, but um, for most stuff, these are absolutely fine. The Urban Finesse is what I've been using as like sort of my main rod for probably about three years now. I have changed to a bunch of different rods in the last sort of six, seven months, but um, before that it was all the Urban Finesse. I uh, used it for winning a prize at the CLF last year, won my group. Um, basically it's a points competition on the Saturday. Um, I'll probably hopefully do a little video of that there coming up in October, but I'm going to do this year's as well. I'm not expecting to get in the prizes again, I got very, very lucky last time. Uh, also managed to get myself fifth place, um, which I was really, really chuffed with in the Winter League, over 30 species caught. I think I finished on 35 or 36 species. I reckon at least 30 of those were caught on the Urban Finesse. Um, I used um, Owen's um, Aikido for a few of the other few of the species. But yeah, near enough, near enough all of them were caught on the Urban Finesse. So um, yeah, really good uh, little pokey little rod. Um, Ideal for kids, ideal for anyone starting out on LRF, ideal for anyone who doesn't want to spend a fortune, wants to have a go. And to be honest, because of the price, they're sort of disposable. Um, I've broken a tip on mine in the past and um, had it replaced. So I think I paid about £15, £20 to get a brand new tip delivered. Um, really, really handy. They do sell out pretty quickly when they're in stock. So if you do want one, try and get yourself one as soon as you can. Thanks very much for watching. I'm really keen for feedback. So if there's any videos you want me to make or any challenge ideas you've got for me, give me a shout. I've got loads of different reels and rods I'm going to be taking out over the next few months. Uh, try and sort of put them through their paces and give you a little bit of feedback on what I think of each rod and reel that I've got, I've got access to. Um, hopefully it'd be useful to some people looking to buy a new tackle. This is Brixham, by the way. Same place I fished the other day, but I'm now on the breakwater. Lovely spot to fish. It's uh, my local now that I've moved here back in April. Um, yeah, thanks very much. See you again.